Uh, oh, and now they're ready to bump us to break as well. We're just having one of those. It's like a Monday on a Thursday. I'm with uh, Dr. Timothy Joshin right now, obviously from Contour Dermatology, and we're here to talk about something that maybe people aren't that comfortable talking about. First of all, because they're a little intimidated to maybe, well, uh, improve their looks, and then uh, we're talking about fillers to begin with. Yes. And then after they get the fillers, they're not happy with how they've turned out. So first they had to get the guts up to even do the fillers, and now they look in the mirror and they're like, ah, I look overprocessed. what do I do? Right, right. And you know, a lot of people aren't even aware that something's askew. They, may, they might notice it a little bit, but when they come into my office, sometimes I'm like, what'd you have done here, or what'd you have done here? They obviously didn't have it done by you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there, there are different fillers, and one of them that, that causes a lot of trouble is Juvederm. I mean, it's a great filler, but when used in the improper area, it can lead to a very disfiguring look. And so, you know, my patients will come in for a rash or something like that, and I'll look at their eyes and I'll say, you know, we might want to think about fixing this. And they're like, oh my God, I thought there was something wrong, but I didn't know what I could do. Is this a problem that's developing because there's all these parties that people are starting to have now, and they're pumping up parties, and they... They, they, you know, they have a women's get together and they might do injectables at that party and so it's not being done correctly? You know, that was a big phenomenon. It's, it's a little less now because everybody's doing fillers, whether you're a dentist or whatever, a lot of people are doing fillers now. And when you start doing fillers, you're not really adequately trained initially. And so a lot of times people overfill. I mean, it's people that are actually real practitioners that are overdoing it in some areas. So the smart thing is to go to somebody that is well-trained and trains other people how to do it, and that would be Dr. Timothy Joshin. But now let's talk about what happens when you are overfilled. What can you do to fix it? Well, it's really, really simple. There's an enzyme called hyaluronidase, and you just inject it into the area where you're overfilled, and what it does is it just breaks that filler down, and in 24 hours, it's completely gone. But then are they left with a result that they are back to normal, and they really wanted to look a little younger and a little improved? Exactly. And this is one of the things that I fight because, you know, they look unusual when they have the filler that's overdone and sometimes they get used to that look. So sometimes I'll have to have them come back the next day and we have to talk about it. And then we can fill them in the right way so that they do look younger and natural and um, just refreshed. But it is alarming sometimes when they get rid of that filler that's been like, you know, insane for okay, a while. Very quickly, best advice for our viewers. You know, go to somebody with experience. If you don't like the way your fillers look, don't be distraught. Go in and get it fixed. Okay. Because there's a good solution for it, and it's I easy. I think the smart thing is just to start with you at the very beginning <laughs> if you want the fillers, right? And if you do want the fillers or reversed filler, contact Dr. Timothy Joshin. At, uh, the information's all on your screen right now, 760-423-4000. We'll be right back after the break.